For the soldiers of Two Lanks, this isn't the first time they've trained for Afghanistan. Three years ago, they were the Theatre Reserve Battalion, dipping in and out of theatre whenever reinforcements were needed. So when they deploy in just two weeks' time, it will be their first full six-month tour but it will also be their last. They're deploying to Nadi Ali district as a transition support unit. That means they'll be aggressively mentoring the Afghan national security forces, the army and police, getting them ready to take over completely by the end of the summer. It's a lot, a lot less going on the ground. Uh, it's, it's advice, it's providing uh, some support in terms of uh, medical evacuation perhaps, uh, and only in, in extremists, uh, maybe some combat support as well. As drawdown approaches, it's becoming increasingly likely tour length for many will increase from six to nine months, giving better continuity and saving scarce resources. There's no suggestion that combat troops would be asked to do the extra three months. Longer tours would be restricted to those mentoring the Afghan security forces or working with key leaders because there's a feeling that the constant churn of personalities as battle groups change over has been damaging to that relationship building, which is key to success. In, in different circumstances, uh, for staff officers, it, it adds more continuity and that's the sort of thing that's been happening for a while. So. Um, yes, there's a place for it. Uh, it's not affecting my battle group, so uh, yeah, that's fine. It's a job and we've got to go out and do it. And um, it's going to also going to be the, the final time the British troops are going to be um, fighting in Helland. And the longer we stay there, the, the better we get the job done to leave, um, to leave the legacy behind for the Afghan people. And for um, obviously the lads we've lost in the, in the past, um, their, names will be, uh, their, their lives will be lost in vain. The battalion worked with the Afghan security forces three years ago. Since then, green on blue insider attacks have soared, but these soldiers say they're prepared to deal with that risk. It is a bit, a bit of an issue, but we have done a lot of training for it, so hopefully that will be sufficient enough to um, overwhelm it and uh, hopefully be calming down after lock. So I believe the NSF are, are doing a lot on their side as well to help it, so we should crack down on it. For the soldiers, the politics of tour length is far from their thoughts. They're professionals and they'll go however often and for however long is needed for their comrades and for those who've gone before them. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, Salisbury Plain.